Hello, I'm Ann Kwan with the Department of External Relations, and with me is the Director of East Asia Transport, and probably better known as the Chair of the Transport Community of Practice, Tyrrell Duncan. And he's here to talk about his career at ADB as part of the Careers Fair at ADB. Welcome, Tyrrell. Hi. First of all, let me ask you, what has been your most interesting role at ADB? You're now Chair of the Transport COP. Is that the most interesting, or have there been other even greater experiences? Well, I think that uh, ADB staff uh, often have lots of interesting experiences. So uh, as a team leader, or as a director, or as a COP chair, there are very interesting challenges. Uh, my memory goes back as a team leader to a project in India where we uh, have built 10,000 kilometers of rural roads that have really opened up uh, a hinterland that was really cut off in the past. Uh, there the government had realized that it had not done enough on rural roads and we were very lucky to be asked to help and on an unprecedented scale. Uh, in the, uh, as a director, uh, I took over in East Asia after many years of helping building roads and railways. But before I took over, uh, a study had been done that said that we couldn't really justify continuing with this sort of support. So uh, there I have had a fascinating challenge of changing uh, what we support, uh, bringing in green and sustainable transport and also trying to do more in knowledge work, studies, that sort of thing. Uh, but the core of this has been changing the way that the staff work, because it's not me who, who delivers the projects. And uh, that has been a bit of a culture change to get staff to realize that we can't just offer off-the-shelf solutions and we need more teamwork, collaboration, problem solving. Uh, so there I've been tested as a sort of a small leader in trying to guide and coach and encourage my staff and uh, I get great satisfaction that nowadays we're, we're doing things like inland waterways, logistics, urban mass transit and I have a I think one of the best staffings in the in, in the bank. When you talk about guiding and uh, mentoring, leading uh, your staff, what advice would you give to staff on how we, how they can ensure that they're ready for the kind of opportunities that you've been provided as as a director? Well, uh, that's an interesting question. Uh, I think that uh, it's important that staff should understand uh, what is expected of them at the different levels first of all uh, and also for them to get some understanding of where they may currently stand in relation to those. Uh, the, the bank competency framework sets out what's expected of staff quite clearly I think uh, and it applies whether you're on projects or doing knowledge work or in other roles. Uh, if, you, if you sort of step through it in a summary way, uh, at level three, I would, for a project, I would expect staff to make a good contribution to a project in a particular area without too much supervision, but some supervision. At level four, uh, I'd hope that a staff member could lead a team to prepare a fairly simple project with a fair amount of guidance and supervision. At level five, they should move to complex projects and contribute a bit more to the division's work. And at level six, complex projects will be their bread and butter, but they'll also be helping the director on, on division-wide matters and mentoring a lot of other staff. Uh, if, if staff understand those uh, progressions, then uh, I think that this can uh, help them prepare for what's next. And, and how do you, as a, as a manager, help your staff work through all of those different levels? How, how, how can it be 
you know, it obviously has to be two-way staff have to meet the competencies and work their way through and take on greater responsibilities. As a manager, how does a manager actually manage that process, help staff along? Well, uh, first of all, the manager needs to give staff feedback uh, so that they uh, understand how well they're performing and if they are having difficulties, uh, at least I think the, the manager should be trying to indicate what the better approach is and help them or guide them or provide them with other assistance so they can take on those roles. Uh, managers need to be very patient. Uh, they should expect that uh, it's only, only from time to time that everything will come perfectly to them, but they shouldn't be uh, irritated by this. It's an opportunity for the manager to uh, guide people and help them understand what to do next. And what advice would you have to new staff who are coming into ADB, given the years of experience that you have, the understanding that you have uh, of working in a very complex organization at a very challenging time for, for ADB? What advice would you give to new staff? Well, the first thing I would say to the new staff is congratulations, uh, because uh, you've, you've joined a great institution. Uh, one with a, uh, a gives you an opportunity to make a difference in uh, improving people's lives and also one that has strengthened itself in recent years and uh, now has uh, advanced approaches to managing uh, opportunities for staff to gain skills and many other benefits also a place where by and large uh, it can be a great opportunity for staff and their families to have a, a pleasant family life. In terms of advice, well, I look to one of the first pieces of advice that I was given when I joined, and that was to uh, perform well and good things will come to you. Uh, in, in The person who recruited me said that if, if I measured up to what they thought I uh, was capable of, uh, or most recruits measured up to what they're expected to, to perform as, then in five years time I wouldn't really be thinking about salary or uh, being held down in terms of career position. And by and large I've found that that uh, is, is what happened in practice. And let me just uh, finish on one more question is, what is it about ADB that has given you the greatest satisfaction that motivates you to wake up and come to the office in the morning? Well, uh, in my case, I had worked for many years as a consultant uh, in a small company, sometimes for ADB, sometimes for other clients. And I found ADB uh, a place where it brought together a large number of different professionals, particularly development professionals, uh, and here was a chance that if you wanted to find out about something, you wanted colleagues to really do something, uh, everything was under this roof, and our, our, uh, where we sit in terms of our dialogue with countries, being able to interact with the highest levels in the country, means that we can really make a difference we're really just tested by how good we are and what we come up with. Cheryl Duncan, thank you very much. Thank you.